In this video we're going to look at summarizing data using a single number. So we'll look at the mean, the median and the mode. We'll do uh, four examples. So start off with students' test scores, then look at heights of basketball players in a team, um, house prizes, and then think about uh, why do we use the median instead of the mean, and why in some cases do we like to use the mean instead of the median. Okay, so let's start off and I've given you the formulas or definitions right there. The mean is, is what you'd probably be most familiar with, the average of a set of data or set of values. The median is the middle value or the middle number and the mode is the most common value. So we're going to take these test scores of a student and find the mean, the median and the mode. So the mean we'll start off with and the mean is the average or the arithmetic uh, mean the, or the average it's the sum of the values over the number of values so the sum of the values is 60 plus 80 plus 90 plus 60 plus 70 and how many values do we have how many numbers 1 2 3 4 5 numbers so we divide by 5 so calculate that and see what you get So that should give us 360 over 5, did you get that, which is 72. So the mean score out of your test is 72, so that would be your current grade, let's say 72%, right? Uh, now let's find the median. The median um, test score of this student, okay? So to find the median, the first step is you list the values from uh, minimum to, uh, from, from smallest to largest okay so in fact we could make a, a, a note up here the median is the middle value and you must um, first list uh, values from smallest to largest Okay, so when we're getting the median, what we've got to do is uh, say, okay, 60 is the lowest score, and then what's the next one? Well, we've got another 60, right? So write that down. And what's the next lowest score? 70. What's the next lowest score? 80. What's the next lo the next uh, score? Sorry, the next score? 90. So we've listed the values from lowest to highest, and the median is the middle value. Now, if you have an odd number of values, the median is simply the middle number. So what's the middle number in this list here? Well, the middle number is 70, okay? We've got two scores below 70, two scores above 70. 70 is in the middle, 70 is the median. So you could say your, your average score is 72%, but your median score is 70. Now, what's the mode? The mode is the most common. The mode is... What's the most common score out of those test scores? Well, let's see, we've got one, two sixties, right? So that's the mode, the most common value. So the mode is 60%, right? Or 60, right? So, um... We're going to try this one now. Um, the student took another test and scored 92. Find the new mean, median, and mode. Okay. So first of all, find the new mean. Do you know what that means? The student took another test and scored 92. Right. So the scores are now write write the new scores and you might as well put them in in a list from lowest to largest from lowest to highest because uh, you'll need to do that for the median anyway right so from lowest to highest we have 60 60 what else 70 and then 80 and then 90 and then 92 is above that 
So we'll put 92 here. So that's our new score. And how we're just going to see how this new score affects the mean and the median and the mode, right? So the mean is going to be add everything up together, right? So go ahead and do that. Now what do you divide by this time? So the mean is the average, it's the sum of the values over the number of values. So how many values do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we divide by 6. Okay. And um, so you can add them all up again. Of course, a uh, clever way is just, well, these all added to 360 last time. So I'm just going to add on 92 and I get 452. But this time I need to divide by 6, right? So this time I mean is 75.333, etc. So I'll call that approximately 75.3, okay? What's my median this time, the middle value? Any idea? Well, we've got a list of numbers from uh, uh, lowest to highest, which I guess I've done already. I'm just going to do it here so I can make it clear how to find the median this time. Now this time, the median is the middle number, the middle value. Now the problem is, there is no particular middle value here, right? And if you, if you split this in two, you've got three scores to the left and three scores to the right. Three low scores and three high scores, right? So what is the middle value? Well, there is none, right? So what we do to get the median when you've got an even number of values is you take the average of the two middle values, okay? So what are the two middle values here? There's 70 and 80, right? And we take the average. How would you get the average of 70 and 80? Well, you go 70 plus 80 and divide by 2, right? What does that give you? Hundred and fifty over two, which is seventy-five. Okay, so that's how you get the median if you've got an even number of values. Now the thing is, you could have just looked at this and said, "Hey, hold on a second. What's halfway between seventy and eighty, seventy-five? So that's another way to do it. But just to be sure, just get the average of the two middle values and just make sure that 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 you got the correct number. So the median is indeed seventy-five this time. And what's the mode this time? What's the most common test score? Well, the most common test score is, once again, 60. 60 is the most common, right? So when we added the new, s after the next test, what happened to the mean? Did it increase or decrease? So after the new test, what happened to everything? The mean was 72, and we took the new test and it increased to 75.3. What about the median? What happened to the median after we took the next test? The median was 70, and it went all the way up to 75, so the median increased as well this time, didn't it? And what about the mode? Did the mode change? No, the mode had stayed the same, right? So when you add... Uh, add new uh, values obviously the, the, these um, these numbers will change so can you do this one find the mean median mode of these heights of players on a high school basketball team right now one thing you might like to do is turn all these numbers into inches right What's five foot six in inches? So this is five foot. So these are all uh, one, two, three, seven basketball players on a high school team. Um, that's all the kids that wanted to play. Nobody else wanted to play. Let's imagine. And what are the heights of each pl player in inches? 
So 5 foot is, there's 12 inches in a foot, right? So 5 times 12 is 60. So there's 60 inches in 5 feet, right? 60 inches equals 5 feet. So this one is 60 inches and 6, so that's 66 inches high, right? How about this player? 60 plus 10, so that's 70 inches, and what about the rest of them? Turn them all into um, inches. So this one will be 71 inches, this is 64, this guy is 72 inches, 6 foot, this guy is 70 inches, and this guy is 70 inches, right? So find the mean height in inches of all the basketball players. Press pause and do that. So have you pressed pause and tried it? Okay, I hope you pressed pause and put try it. I'm going to do it now. So it's 66 plus 70. I've got to add them all up. 71 plus 64 plus 72 plus 70 plus 70. All divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Divide by 7. There's 7 players. So if I add them all up. I get 483 and then divide by 7 and we get 69. So the mean or the average height of the players is 69 inches which of course is um, 5 foot 9 inches. Right? The median height is what and what is the mode? What is the most common height? So find the median and then find the mode. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. Please press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now really quickly. So the median, I've, first thing I have to do is list the numbers from uh, uh, lowest to highest. So 64, 66, I, I like to cross them off as I do it, so I don't make a mistake. And then I've, the next one is 70, and then another 70, and then another 70, and then I got 71, and then I got 72, right? Now the median is the middle value. So if I count the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, of course there's an odd number here, so we just take the actual middle value. So if we go straight down the middle, this number 70 is in the middle. There's 3 less than it, and there's 3, well, 3 below and 3 above, in, in a way. So the median is 70 inches high, or uh, 5 foot 10. And what's the mode? What's the most common height? Any idea? When you look at the numbers, you've got 1, 2, 3, 70. Three players who are 70 inches. So the mode, the most common height is 70 inches, 5 foot 10. Okay? So imagine now that a new kid who is 6 foot 9 inches joins the team. Find the new mean, median, and mode of the heights of the team. So press pause and do that, please. Press pause and do this. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to run over it now just to make sure you got the right answer. So, so this time, and I, again, I'll list it from lowest to highest because I need to do that for the median. So we've got 64 inches, 66 inches, 70, 70. 70, 71, and 72, and then a new kid comes and he's 6 foot 9, so that is 72 inches plus 9, that's 81 inches high, okay? And um, the mean is adding them all up. And dividing by what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players now. So you got to add them all up and divide by eight. Now, when I did it earlier, I knew that when I add them all up, I get 483. Okay. And now the new player is 81. So I'll just add that on. And this time divide by eight. And so the new average height is 70.5, right? or uh, 5 foot 10 and a half inches, right? The median height is what?
The median height is the middle value, and this time we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how are we going to find the median? If you cut, if you list them from lowest to highest, and then you draw a line like right in the middle, you've got four below and four above, right? So if you have an even number of values, you get the average of the two middle values. The average of the two middle. How do you get the average of 70 and 70? By the way, off the top of your head, what is the average of 70 and 70? It is 70, right? So you don't have to do this, but 70 plus 70 divided by 2 will give 140 over 2, which of course is 70. So the median value is, or the middle value, is 70, right? And what is the mode? Most common value? 70 inches again, or, and, or in, in other words, 5 foot 10, right? So, what happened after the high kid came? How did the mean, the median, and the mode change? How did the mean change after the, the tall kid came to play in a basketball team? The mean height went from 69 inches to 70.5. That's 5 foot 9 to 5 foot 10 and a half, right? So the mean jumped by an inch and a half. That's, that's a pretty big jump for an average, right? How did the median change? Median did not change at all. So the middle value stayed the same. What about the mode? The most common height? That stayed the same as well, 5 foot 10, right? So um, what the what this 81 is called, because this kid is so much higher than everybody else, just towers above everybody else, this number here is what's called an outlier. Okay, this is a value that is significantly different than the rest, okay? A value that is significantly different than the rest. So that's what outlier means. Okay, so in this example, please uh, try to find the mean, the median, and the mode of these house prices in a small town. Okay? And is there something you could, some way to write these numbers so that you don't have to write the zeros all the time? <coughs> Excuse me, the zeros all the time? So there's a lot of zeros here, right? Any idea how you could write these numbers instead of without using the zeros at the end, right? So just to make it simpler on yourself, you could write the, the numbers in thousands, right? So for example, 123, 150, 90, 137, and so on, right? So press pause and find the mean, the median, and the mode of these house prices. And then check the video to check your answer. Okay, I hope you've tried it. So the mean is going to be add all the numbers up and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you should get 2120 divided by 8, which is 265. Now, what does that mean? That means $265,000, right? Average is the average house price for this small town. Then go ahead and find the median if you haven't got it yet. Press pause and find the median. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to do it now really quickly. So the median, you would go uh, list them from uh, lowest to highest. So 80,000, 90,000. Um, then we've got 100,000. Then we've got 1, 2, 3. Then we've got 137. Then we've got uh, 150. One ninety and one two five zero. Okay, so list them from lowest to highest, and we get the median, the middle house price for all the houses on sale in this small town. Okay. Now, what is the the median? Because you figured that one out. 
Once again, we've got an even number of values, eight values, that's an even number. So we've got to get the average of the two middle values, right? How do you get the average of these two numbers? Well, don't you just go one, two, three, plus one, three, seven, and divide by two, right? So that would be 260 over two, or 130, right? So the middle value, or the median for this, is 130 thousand dollars. That's the median, right? What's the mode? Any idea? We haven't gone over an example like this yet, so you're not expected to know what the mode is. But I would like you to guess. Take a guess. What's the most common value? What's the most common number out of all these eight numbers? Which number is most common? Are any of the numbers most common? None of the numbers are most common, right? Back to the definition. The mode is the most common value, right? So there are no common value. Uh, th so, so the answer is none. None of the numbers are most common. So that's kind of unusual that there is no mode, right? No mode. But we have a median of 130,000. We have a mean of um, $265,000. Now, the question is, we, most of us are familiar with average, and when we learn this stuff, we go, what's the point in the median? Why even use it? Why can't we just always use the average? So um, I'll try and give a very simple explanation. Um, medians are more are used more in housing, and if you're looking at income levels of a city, or income levels, income distribution of a country, or um, uh, and so uh, and the, the reason is that that people like to use the median is. Um, for situations like this. So imagine, just for a really simple example, you walked into the Realtor's office in this small town and he said, are you looking to buy a house? Well, the average house price in this town is $265,000. And you turn around and walk straight out of the door and say, that's too much, can't afford that, that's out of my range. You know, this is obviously a very fancy town uh, compared to what I'm ex open to, where, where I'm expecting to live, for example, right? And the realtor said, no, no, hold on a second, come back, wait, wait, come back. The median house price is 130000 And then you say, oh, that's more like it, I think I can afford to live here. This doesn't seem to be too expensive of a town. Do you see what I'm trying to say? What we have in this data set as you might have noticed, is this very unusual house price over here, which is completely different than all of the other house prices. So we have a very rich luxury home worth uh, one and a quarter million dollars. And this is called a outlier. So this outlier is skewing the mean it's 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 actually making the average house price 265,000 which is more than any other house price in the town 265 is more than any apart from the million dollar right so this outlier um has given has basically made the average a little bit um deceptive okay because when you think of a small town where the average house price is 265000 then you think of a kind of a middle class sort of a town. Whereas this town is the, the meat, this town, I mean, it's only one rich house and the rest are low and or, or, or uh, average about. So anyway, so house prices are, are usually, they usually use median. Okay, I hope that kind of explains it. So median gives a, a better reflection for um, house prices and um, income distribution, etc. 
So I'll just show you this example and see what you think. The average income in the country of Singapore is $8,726 per year, whereas the median income is $6,342 per year. What does this indicate? Any idea? Press pause and think about it. The average income is $8,700. The median income is $6,300. What does that indicate? Any idea? What that indicates, just with those two numbers, if you didn't, you've never been to Singapore, I could, uh, you could look at those two numbers and you could say, I'll tell you what that indicates. That indicates that there are uh, people living just fine, rich, and um, there's also people in abject poverty begging on the streets. And probably a lot of hunger too. And you can tell that just from those two numbers. Okay? And if you look at it, that's the way it pans out. So what what this means is it's kind of like the town where you have the one rich house and a whole bunch of the kind of average priced homes. It This makes the mean a lot different, a lot higher than the median. Okay? So if the mean is higher than the median like that, or, or, or in Singapore's case, that would be yeah, quite a lot. What you've got is, um, for example, 29% of the people living in in uh, pretty pretty tough poverty. That's about 30% of the people. Whereas, you know, you've got your your high end of the scale. You got you got you got um, 10. Th th this graph here shows about 10% living just fine, doing really well, and uh, and that. So you got basically a, a big uh, gap between the rich and the poor, and and it shows you know more than 60% actually live below the national average. So the average is is kind of a not a very useful number in this case. So so but but with the median, you could say that. Um, 50% of people live below 6300 but the same case at the same time 50% of people live above the 6300 mark okay so the 8700 mark average doesn't really tell us much but the the 6300 is a better indicator because you're like, oh hey, that makes sense. Okay, so half the people earn less than six thousand, half the people earn more than six thousand. Okay, now I have a better idea of what Singapore's like, so to speak. Uh income wise. So if you um and then there's also the question comes up then, well why would we ever use the mean instead of the median? Right? And there are many cases where you do um uh in cricket or in cricket or in um uh, baseball, you've got a batting average or mean, which is is very useful. So in all types of sports, um, if you took uh, what a soccer player, if you took a soccer striker, who uh, these are the guys supposed to score goals, right? If you look at at their their goal record, they could get score no goals and then no goals and then one goal, then zero goals, then zero goals, then two goals, then um, then no goals again and then um, one goal and then one goal the um, this is pretty good this is a really good striker even though they've gone lots of games with scoring no goals if you were to calculate the median on that so one two three four five and then we've got one 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 Two, if you were to calculate the median on that, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The median would be this number here, okay? The median is zero. So for this soccer player, over their nine games, over her her nine games, she scored no go she Her median score is no goals, but she has scored one, two, three, four. She has scored five goals, 
out of nine games. So her mean is five out of nine, which is more than half. 0 0.56 about goals per game which would make her one of the best uh, uh, strikers in her league probably the best okay so this is awesome results for soccer and obviously the mean the median doesn't tell us much at all because for most soccer players you know they, they don't, there's not many goals in soccer so so I'm trying to give you an idea. So so for for sports, the mean would be what is used most most of all, and for many other uh, applications in the world. But but that's just trying to give you one quick example where the mean is more useful than, than the median.